So Mark, after your first training session with the last today, first of all, welcome to the club. Um, if I can ask what attracted you to Gothsport Borough in the first place? Well, I think it's the, the chairman reached out and had a, a chat with him. Um, I've obviously known him from playing against Gosport before. He's always come over and shook our hand and we always had a, had a chat. So we always remembered each other and um, yeah, had a chat about football with him, really. And uh, before you knew it, his, his, his passion, his enthusiasm for not only the football club, but the, the wider community as well. And uh, the, the passion that he spoke with it. And, um, and then he, he said, you know, would I, would I be interested in, in coming across and, and helping out and helping push this club forward? Because there's some fantastic work going on at the football club. The club's grown massively since I was asked here. You know, the, the facilities, the, the, the work they're doing in the community with the Feed the Families and the, 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 you know, the, the youth section coming up through. Um, they really are doing some fantastic work uh, off the pitch and I think they probably want to see um, you know, some more good fortune on the pitch as well and um, you know, I've got some, some experience in football that I would like, I'd like to share and, and like I said, I was just uh, really infused by the project. Safe to say you've had a hectic couple of days. Mm -hmm. How have you found the last couple of days and, and what are your first thoughts um, sort of in and around the players and, and the facilities and everything around on the club? Yeah, club? listen, like I said, facilities are great. The staff, everyone's been so welcoming. Um, it's been... It's been a real breath of fresh air. I think we've had two training sessions with the lads. So I'm starting to learn their names. Um, it's not my strongest point, especially with so many similar names. I think I might have to change a few of them and call them something else. But um, no, it's been uh, the lads have um, responded uh, really well. Um, it's very much assessment time at the moment. We're just finding out one how the club works and, and functions, um, and also you know looking at the players and assessing them. So it's a, it's a clean slate for everyone. Everyone's got a chance now to impress. Um, but one thing is, um, you know, we've got to think quickly. We've got to find ways of um, improving on, on the pitch as quick as we can. But I think, um, you know, everyone deserves a, a fair chance. And I think it's certainly a, mat a matter of assessing and make sure that we bring the right people to this football club in terms of players and staff. And, um, you know, there's, and also assessing what's at the football club first and foremost. There's a lot of good players here, a lot of good staff, a lot of good people around the, around the club. So it's basically about uniting people and, and finding the, you know, the, the, the best way to put our best foot forward. You touched on it briefly there, um, but you're coming into a club halfway through the season uh, with a bit of pressure happening around it. Um, how different of a mission is that rather than coming in at the start of the season where you've got a blank slate? Yeah, it's, listen, it's very difficult. There's no, no, no getting away from it to sort of crash land in the middle of a season and in the relegation zone with you know, some injuries and other bits and bobs going on. So um, it's certainly the time to roll your sleeves up and, and, and get to work. There's no, there's, you know, there's no time to waste, that is for sure. But we're also, it's not panic stations. There's, there's good players here. It's a you know, well-run football club and it's, um, like you, you, we don't want to rush into anything, any hasty decisions. It's about finding how to make this, uh, you know, that what we've got at our disposal at the moment work the best it can. And then I think that's what I've always tried to do, be the best, give, give my, my players the best I possibly can to give them the best chance to perform on a Saturday, but also give them all the support they need on the pitch, also off the pitch as well. You undoubtedly, undoubtedly want to impart your own uh, style and, and ideas onto the pitch. What does a Mark Mosley team look like? I think the first thing is we've got to roll our sleeves up. We've got to be hardworking. We've got to be organised. We've got to wear the shirt with pride. Um, we've got to you know, give some, our, our fans something to get, to get behind, something to cheer about. And that comes from blood, sweat and tears and, t and togetherness. Um, you know, there's, there's no easy way out of this. We're in a rele relegation zone at the moment. There's no, bo you know, there's no bones about it. We're, we're in a fight. Um, we've got to make sure that we're, we work hard. We stick together. We get a team spirit. And um, everything else we can work out along the way. And we'll, we know, we'll, we'll g hopefully the more time we get together, the better we'll get. Um, but like I said, there, there might be some teething problems along the way. But we, will, we, we won't be through lack of hard work. And, and attention to detail in, in trying to find the best way to get the best out of this team. Looking more to the immediate future, um, obviously no one expects miracles overnight, but what is your idea of success in, in, on Saturday against Tiverton? I think we just need to see a performance, we need to see a reaction, we need to see, um, we need to see a different mentality for me. You know, we want to see a mentality that's just together and ready for the fight. Um, how important is it to you that the fans retain the highs sort of pressures in the stadium? So I'm sure you're aware the, the attendances have been regularly heating above mm. 650 in the stadium, um, which is second highest in the league, despite obviously the results being a bit lacklustre this season. Mm. How important is that to you to make sure that the fans keep, keep engaged? It's going to be absolutely vital. We, we, we need our fans. We need our, we need our community. We know that we've got to give them something to cheer about. 
Um, and if they're turning out in their numbers, we need to repay them. But also, if we can get a few wins and get a feel-good feeling about the around the place, who who knows how many more might might come out? And that's certainly our goal: is is to, you know, give the fans something to cheer about, give the fans something to be proud about, wear the shirt with pride, and um, yeah, really galvanise everyone. We want to bring everyone in. This is a community club. It's us against the world. It's us all together, and we're going to need each and every one of one of our community and our club to uh, you know pull together with a, with a common aim of making this football club the best it possibly can be. And lastly, what's your, what's your message to Gospel Borough fans looking forward to Saturday? Well, uh, thanks for the warm welcome. I'm really looking forward to, to meeting you all. Uh, but most importantly, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to working as hard as I can to, um, to, to make this club the best it can be. Brilliant. Thanks, Mark. And once Thank again, you. welcome to Borough. Thanks very much.